to my channel. So today I'm here with a video on how to curl your hair without any heat. It's super awesome, super cool, and you won't be damaging your hair with like heat because you're only using curls. Yeah, it's super cool, and this is the final result. It's so easy, so simple, and like you don't need to waste any time doing your hair in the morning with this method because it's like so quick and yeah so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you do definitely go right ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and let's just jump right into it okay hopefully it looks good because i just took a shower with a bag on my face because i did not want my makeup to get messed up mm -hmm. and um thumbs up this video if you guys like my shirt it has a monkey on it and it says want a monkey around and I'm the innuendo type, so as soon as I saw this shirt at like five and below for like a kid, I thought of it like innuendo, like one of them. Okay. So the first thing you want to do with starting out this hairstyle is to start out with wet hair. You can either take a shower and have it wet, or you can spritz your hair with a bottle, whatever is easiest for you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush out my hair so I have no knots or kinks in it. So then when I'm doing the style, it's not like it's hard to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right ahead and take my favorite tool in this hairstyle, which is our straws. I got these from our local grocery store for like $1.75 for $150. Amazing deal right there. And what you want to do is just want to go ahead and take the straw and just put a piece of the end of your hair at the um, tip of the straw like the middle of the straw and then just start rolling it up it's pretty self-explanatory so um yeah but you just want to pull it back and down so it's tight on the straw um and how far you go up really depends on how like curly the curl is going to be so if you don't want it to go up as high you could stop like three-fourths of the way up to your hair so the curls only at the bottom so that's just a quick tip by doing this hairstyle but once you get to the top of the hair and once you're done rolling all your hair up as much as you want it curled then what you're going to do is you're just going to go right ahead and literally tie the straw you're literally is so easy so simple like you're tying a knot in your shoe or such i'm going to show you right here you just literally tie the straw it's so easy so simple and it's just amazing how such a beautiful hairstyle comes out from doing something just so simple So it really depends on how big the curl you want. If you want it to be more like a bigger curl, you could take more hair, but if they all that all the hairs stick together, like it doesn't separate. So like how much hair you're gonna wrap up is how big the curl is gonna be like the actual size of the curl. Um, so I recommend taking little medium size sections like this. That's how big I normally take mine and it works amazing. But if you don't want it to go up as high, I would recommend you just stop like not as high up, which I normally do in the back of my hair because it looks better that way. Finally, after a whole head finishing up the rest, and there I have it. That's how my hair looks. Now you can either chill on your phone and take selfies like me, or have your dog walk on you, or you can go to bed and sleep in these bad boys. And if you're going to bed like I did, you can go right ahead and wrap a bandana around your head so then the straws don't poke you in the eye. But good night. Here I am in the morning with my um, straws and my hair, and they kind of look a little bit messy, but it's okay because the end result will look amazing so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna literally pull the straw out of the um hair like literally just slide out just literally slides right out and look look that is so amazing all from that straw it's so cool ah look how cute that is it's just so exciting i love it so much and it's like something that you wouldn't expect to give this hair a really good look is something like a straw like who would even think it Taking out the final straw, and there you have it. That is how my hair looks. Um, I thought the front kind of looked weird because I think I did 
bring the curl the straw up a little bit too high so it's really cool look at all the straws and that is what the hair looks like it's super cute and it looks like I actually went and got it done at like a salon so it's really easy so I'm gonna go ahead and put a hair um, headband in and then grab a clip and poof up the back of my hair because this style also gives you a ton of volume and my hair already has like a lot of texture to it naturally so that's why it's a little bit more curly on me so if you had straight hair this hairstyle would work really good on you and if you have curly hair like me it would work good on you too so there you have it that is the final hair look and thumbs up this video if you like my shirt it says run like you're being chased by a dinosaur run actually run like you're being chased but it has a dinosaur on it so yeah that's the final hair look i absolutely love it so easy you can see like the curly cues and it looks like you spent so much time on it when really you did was wrap straws in your hair my video on how to curl your hair with no heat and the inside of my arms are white because i'm too lazy i don't want to waste um spray tan inside the inside of my arms because nobody looks there but yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did definitely go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up share it with your friends if you found it helpful there'll be a link down below to click and tweet also be sure to come back to my channel every Saturday because there's a new video live and if you're not subscribed already then definitely go right ahead and hit that subscribe button but yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and for all of your support and I love you guys millions and dare to be different because nobody else is like you tip number eight when he asks what you want to do when you're on the date say IDK